Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Yep, two approved. Two approved, can go on the Nürburgring, on TF. Good morning, comrades, and welcome back to the Nürburgring. We had a very early flight this morning. We left at 8, well, the flight left at 8, so we had to leave at 6 from the hotel, which was uh, pretty early, yeah. Back at Apex, back at the Nürburgring, I just want to remind you that we still have rental cars. Yes, I kind of tend to forget. Hello, Magnus. Um, yeah, I kind of tend to forget that uh, we do rentals. I kind of tend to forget that this was like the car of the year last year. But yeah, now we move the step up, right? Can we use this pun? I guess we can. Oh, what's happening there? It's the McLaren. You want to have a take a look there? Okay, let's go. Okay, for your information, no, we're not in a poser mode. As a matter of fact, that fellow over there, Oliver, is a McLaren engineer. He is now visiting us and showing us how to service well, the basic stuff, check the oil, change the oil, do all kinds of basic things, like not complete engine overhaul, obviously. And he also brought a fresh set of brake pads, 2,900 euros to be precise. So in case you're gonna ask, well, why you charge 299 euros for just a lap? Well, because not only brake pads cost this much, there's also tires, there's the price of the car itself, there's a license fee, you have to pay the drivers for everything, and uh, the majority of you understand that, but still, quite often we still get the question like, oh, why is it so much? Then another taxi update are not only the stickers, this is just like for advertising purposes when a car is out there. Again, a reminder, we can only run two cars, but this is a, a very nice track day taxi in addition to the X631. Uh, and then here is the main taxi update, a new desk, reception desk for the taxi office that will be installed there shortly and you will see how it looks like. Anyway, back to the, um, how are we calling it? M3, taxi, F80, Team Shermer. You know the story, I think I haven't told you yet. Um, on the very first day when uh, when we were driving the car and Tom Shermer came over to uh, change the suspension settings because the first settings um, were a bit too soft for when there were like uh, four passengers, so the car was scraping slightly. Uh, we changed it a bit harder. Tom Shimmer said, um, well, now it's gonna be a bit more bumpy. <laughs> I found it very funny because, yeah, the car is indeed jumping like a bumpy, but unfortunately we have already a car which is cold like that. So we kind of need to come up with a name. Well, I don't know, I, I believe kind of cars do deserve a name. Because right now M3 Taxi, what, this one? No, this one. M3 Taxi, what, the, the blue one, the black one, the blacky M3? Hmm, hmm, yeah. Maybe you can do some suggestions in the videos. I promised you in the very beginning uh, having like kind of a, dr a taxi driver diaries uh, telling you about uh, how it is to, to do the taxi driving. I think it deserves a video of its own, but I want to say that the more I drive this car, the more I enjoy it, the more I get used to it, and the more I want to drive it even more, if you understand what I mean, because it is truly an amazing car and uh, I told you in the beginning uh, I knew that I had to get used to it a lot because well, going from the 120 horsepower up to a 500 plus horsepower two-ton car versus sub 1000 kilograms is quite quite a difference but it's yeah now makes lots of fun I mean in general I would be just like stupid and crazy if I would say like no that's not fun at all there are of course uh, less fun bits because uh, every single time there's always kind of a stress because of the feeling of responsibility and especially with yeah I don't know why but it's uh, like last week like last weeks has been a 
crazy trend of people spilling their coolants and you see it all the times is those are old cars that do that you had you see it on videos what's coming there what's coming there the only thing i can do to you guys is when you're coming to the left green with the old car make sure to check that it is in the optimal condition of course most importantly like the brakes and tires for yourself for your own safety but also the cooling system for other people's safety in your own as well because yeah you can also crash over your own coolant but um the I already forgot what I was talking about, but another thing that I want to tell you, a lot of people have been saying to me regarding the 919 record in Spa, the Porsche 919, and that, well, according to rumors, they're coming to Nordschleife, and according to rumors, well, according to confirmation, Porsche is coming very soon, but it's the question, are they going to bring the 919? If it is, then I expect to be a sub-6 lab. There, I said it. And we'll see, we'll see soon. Stay tuned for that. But until then, we can still have some track spotting action. And this looks like the new A-Class, I guess. Two M2s. Could be the new competition with 410 horsepower and the M3 M4 engine. Oh. Megane RS. Hmm, wonder if they're doing some preparations for the lap record. And another contendant for lap record, ZR1. <laughs> Look at the exhaust! <laughs> they're really trying to avoid the sound regulations. ladies and gentlemen SQ3 maybe oh yummy 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 GLS RX8 and yeah, like the last time when I came here to spot prototypes. Oh, just a moment. X7. Looks like it. Yeah, what I was saying, like, oh, wait. Sup, mate? M8. Okay, let me change the um, position. And, well, what I was telling you, like the last time, uh, I told you why the old cars are running. No, it's not to test the new technology for old cars or new mods, or in this case, new Wankel engine, unfortunately. Uh, but it's probably just uh, new test drivers are getting uh, their licenses or, uh, well, courses. What's this? Yeah, I guess GLA. Yeah, getting their licenses to become an iPool, the industry, the test driver with an older car of a manufacturer, in this case, the RX-7, well, uh, RX-8. Another X-7, the GT Coupe. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Something big from Mercedes, something smaller from Mercedes. And we're back at Apex with some fashion update. Race car driver fashion update. So this is your new helmet? Yes. Looks pretty cool. Let me stand in the sun, that will be probably better. Yeah. Some exposed carbon fiber, flakes, glitter. Yeah. <laughs> is that glitter or is that ice? It's ice. Uh, ice, ice, cold. ice, ice cold. Why, why is why is there nothing like ice cold written on it? <laughs> ah, shit. I'm not good at that. <laughs> and by the way, Robert has arrived with the speciale. Have you done a passenger lap on this yet? No, never. <laughs> that's pretty funny, huh? That's, that's probably like the the second most asked question on my channel. What's that? If you Going to pass me a lap on the show? Yeah, when, when we're going to do a lap. And the first one is when is the summit coming back? 
Oh dear. <laughs> All this pressure, you know? Yeah, 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 I know. And we have arrived at the taxi car park. And hello! Hi Don't get me wrong, but could you take off your jacket? Look at that! Apex! 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 New uniform. The girls are in white, the men are in black. Well, in five minutes the track will be open, so the first customers are getting on board. We have like five laps today with the M3, so it's going to be tight if there's a track closure. And we are going out uh, with 7.20, uh, but yeah, I don't have filming license for today. I didn't know this was going to happen, and I will explain to you later, but since we are like um, all, how should I say, official Nürburgring partner and such, we really need to play by the book. Just gonna be a warm-up lap, so nothing special, but you'll get a proper onboard lap from me. Soon, probably next week, because we're gonna have a track day. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines, please. Track is open. <laughs> start your engines? Encouraging people as if it's a race. <laughs> Never heard them start your engines. Let's get ready to rumble, Okay, huh? yeah. <laughs> so a new brake pads, we'll bet them in. Yep, well, we've broken in the engine on the track, so I guess brake pads on the track works as well, huh? And now Tim's mom is going out for a lap. Is that uh, how you repair for IKEA consultancy? <laughs> <laughs> Late Mother's Day present. Oh yeah, okay, that's nice. How was it? That was great. Good. The driver is okay too. Yeah, the driver's okay. <laughs> He's been around a few times. Oh, we have now like the, the double team. Oh my gosh, thank you. Where are you going? Oh, okay, bye. Now Lara has been out for a lap as well, and I'm speechless. It it didn't blow off my socks, but it literally blew off my shoes. Like on the Sprungügel, they just went, and I had to hold on with my feet, just <laughs> desperately. It was so good. <laughs> there is Does not really good. driver shoes no. or passenger well, shoes. Well, I could. I could yeah. drive with these as well. Yeah. I can make it work. Is this Lara test drives day or, or something? Yeah. Okay, now you know what we have to do. Put Lara in Lada. Which one's better? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the McLaren's faster, but this has just so much emotions to it. Uh, just the noise of it. Yeah. And I mean, you can't help but be in awe of the fact that it's a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. It's like Enzo Ferrari once said, when you take a kid and let it draw a car, it will color it red because Ferrari is just Ferrari. <laughs> That's the car, basically, that everyone considers as cool at, at, at some point. So yeah. it's fantastic. Oh, I'll just chill here. Okay. This is where I'm supposed to be. Wrong car. Wrong car. I took the wrong car. Yeah, it's also red. Sorry. It's also red. <laughs> just put some Gatsby stickers on and we'll be by the fleet, huh? <laughs> and now we are going for a lap. I wish the track is closed. Maybe end of the year, like last year. Let's go back to Apex. Okay, okay, this is the least what I can do for you. Well, what can I say? All the cars came back in one piece, also the rental cars, and I feel kind of guilty for not filming any rental cars in the last many weeks because yeah they do go out um, plenty and a lot but also as you can see I'm just way too busy with taxi either being there helping the customers or driving them around to when <laughs> that's cool uh, what was I saying uh, yeah but as you can see I'm pretty busy with the taxi either driving the customers or helping him getting in the car supporting the taxi uh, team so there is that well all I can say, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Um, I'm gonna get some extra sleep because last night I only slept like four hours and then, well, one and a half hour or so on the plane, that was okay. Um, but yeah, tomorrow more of the same and, but a bit better because uh, I remember that this, well, industry pool testing season, prototype spotting season. So let's go to tomorrow to Hocheichen, where which is like uh, my favorite car spotting spot, prototype spotting spot, um, and do some close up shots of what was driving today and man i cannot wait till the 919 gets here sub six sub six but for that you will have to wait a bit longer see you guys in tomorrow's vlog and 
Hopefully, sometime soon at the Nürburgring. Bye bye. The only place you can get fish in town, probably. And steak, apparently. You ready? Okay.